No, I'm not a writer. Okay. I just pulled up to the shop got a little bit of progress for you guys this is the office area it needs to be finished up still but out here they got all this paneling on you got the stairs all finished up for upstairs take you up there so you can check that out this is looking like they got the floor in here all finished up already so this is gonna be kind of like a break room type you know chill area up here you can kind of oversee the shop and then right here I have a storage area just for storage, I mean storing parts or whatever we got to store. We were yeah. mapping out where the dyno is going to go. So I'll show you the dyno here. It's a dyno jet. Two wheel drive for now. We'll be uh, adding the all wheel drive addition later. So this is the, the rollers right here. They're pretty small. Uh, let's see what it measures. We got 29 inches by by 86 inches is what this measures. So it's not it's not super huge, uh, but the hole that we have to do in making the ground is uh, four foot by nine feet. So we marked it out right here. Uh, there's gonna be a big bay door that goes in the wall right here. So we just uh, centered. We marked the center for the door, and then we marked the center for the dyno, and then just measured out from there. So uh, the line four, so it's basically gonna go from this line right here, four feet this way, nine feet this way, and then four feet back this way. And we use this uh, concrete cut line right here as our reference, check the square and everything, everything looks good. So we don't have to make that cut now. We just have to cut these three lines, break the concrete out, pull it out, and then uh, pull out the dirt. And then we have to pour a slab inside the hole at the bottom um six inches thick in the middle and then on the edges uh one foot thick by one foot deep uh, on the very edges so that's the footer for the dyno and then yeah then we could drop it in uh put the plates on the outside of it and that'll be all finished up probably gonna put a computer and stuff over here in the corner and then a big uh screen right here so you could see uh your dyno numbers and stuff so yeah, uh, we're wanting to open probably the second week of March. Um, stay tuned. We might be having a dino day that opening day, some type of uh, opening day dino day, you know, open open shop kind of deal. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully we can get that all planned out. Uh, but as of now, I'm just waiting for the concrete guys to show up uh, so we can cut the slab and do all that stuff and get all the dirt out of here. So. Uh, once those guys shows up, I'll show you guys some clips of that, and then uh, we'll see how far we can get with this today. How thick is it? <laughs> is it six inches or more? Six inches, yeah, that's about right. I told you guys we didn't know what we were doing. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Hey, how you doing? 
have to pick it up. Okay. But, uh, yeah, just let me know. <laughs> Step one, we got the concrete out. We got fired just because we took a break. It's beer 30. From progress, progress, progress. We're probably about what? A couple feet, couple feet down. Yeah, a couple feet down. A couple feet down. Still need like another foot, but we get in there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. We're taking turns with the pickaxe and the shovel, but we're getting there. inches on the outside we need some uh we're pretty the middle is pretty much ready huh yeah and yeah we got a little dirt these heifers are eating pizza over there all right well we got this dug down how many 35 inches 35 inches from the top of the concrete to the floor all the way across and this is all the dirt we got out of there. We used shovels, we used shovels we used and a pickaxe to get all of this out of here. And uh, I'm going to be pouring concrete on Monday. I won't be here, but uh, I'll send Alex over here with the camera so he can record. So, over and out. Uh, yep. <laughs> Just got this slab poured in here. If you guys need some concrete, Colorado Fresh Concrete is where it's at. What's your phone number? 970-584-8544. Five eight four, eight five four four. All right. It's looking good. I'm probably gonna have to let it dry for a couple days, and then uh, we'll drop it in here, put some anchors in the floor, and then put the covers on. Look at that, bro. Man. Look at behind this tower. Oh, look, that's the wrist pin right there, yeah. Gosh. Ah, we broke the shit out of this thing. <laughs> oh, came out the, it came out the back, oh, too. Yeah, damn. Yeah, so we were racing this GTR, and uh, we sent the rod right through the block, so. You don't have to get a new one of those. Dude, that's bad, bro. Look at that. 
It came out of the back too. Was it a stock? stock bar yeah, the motor's 100% stock. So we stopped right here because we blew the car up. There's oil everywhere. Is there oil everywhere? Oh yeah. Then this guy wrecks right across from where we were sitting, right over there. Wasted. So we went over there to check it out. Everybody's cool, but that guy's fucked. <laughs> I just got this thing loaded up. Freddie came and saved the day. We're gonna drop it off at Ismar's house and then we'll build the motor next. See you guys over there. All right, so we're cruising back home. We got the GT, or the GTR. The, we got the Civic on the trailer. Freddie came to save us. Uh, so the story is, uh, we were basically just racing this GTR that was with us, that was going to the meet. And uh, got all the way through third, all the way through fourth put it in fifth and then when I got to the top of fifth it just let go like the rod came out and uh, he thought he had broken the trans and uh, oh look there's that Jeep that fell into the ditch um, so he thought the trans had broken I was like nah man that was a, that was definitely a rod that came out of the motor so pulled over checked it out sure enough rod came out the front and the back so hopefully the heads okay we'll probably reuse it on the next motor uh, we got a couple K's at the shop, a uh, K20A2 and a K24. Uh, so we're gonna pick one of those, put some pistons and rods in it, springs retainers, maybe some cams, get a little crazy, and uh, get it back in the car. So we're gonna head back to town, drop it off at his house, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>